hope that music is being picked up, or else this is gonna come across very not great. Um, <laughs> instead it would just start with me going, do 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 do. <laughs> uh, that is not what uh, is happening currently. There's music playing for those who are wondering, and uh, we are getting ready to watch the official Wheel of Time Twitter t tw uh, trailer. Not Twitter. Well, we are going to be on their Twitter a little bit first, so that actually does work. But instead, in 30-ish minutes, almost exactly, we are going to have uh, another Wheel of Time trailer drop, and people are always asking me to share those. So I'm going to share it, and we are going to have a wonderful, splendid, spectacular time uh, watching this together. Um, if anyone does not have a splendid, spectacular time, uh, you, can, you can take it up with yourself. <laughs> uh, I'm just getting things finally set up here. And uh, I'm really excited. We're going to get another one. It's going to be great. It's going to be a good old spanky danky time. I just hope I don't get a copyright strike again and lose all my money like I did last time. That sucked. But hey, it's not about the cash. It's not about the fat stacks. It's about sharing the experience with my beautiful people here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and monetize this. Okay. It's officially been monetized. And I hope... I, I, I hopey dopey that it's not taken away from me. <laughs> um, so this is officially a monetized stream. Let's hope that works out well. Um, and yeah, so wait, the wheel of time started a thread. Watch here. What? Did they just drop it already? No, I just started. I'm not ready. Hold up. No, no, they did not. They did not just drop this already. They told us we had 30 more minutes. Hold up, give me a second here. I literally just was like, oh, like I'll get on early and go over some video game ideas I asked you guys to show me, but my phone just told me they started a thread. And why would they start a thread before it's actually out? What did they just tweet? Watch here. Oh, they, they tweeted out the Dusty Wheels thing. Okay, great, I'm glad they're promoting the Dusty Wheel. That's great. Um, I was really nervous. <laughs> I was about to be like, why in the world would you put it out 30 minutes early and make my butt clinch <laughs> so tightly? All right. Sorry. Um, that was so funny. Anyway, uh, moving on. Hello, everyone. And I hope you're having a fantastic start, uh, to your day. Uh, let's go ahead. Um, and start talking about what we're expecting here. I have specifically said that if we do not get uh, a, a loyal look, that I will quit my job as a YouTuber and just start full-time screaming at their office from the street. Um, I do plan on doing that, but what I've realized is that's essentially what I do now for a job. It's just I'd be moving from YouTube to the street outside their office. So I don't know if that's a good idea or not um but hey you know it is what it is okay 30 minutes early that's the wheel of time for you hey they've been pretty consistent for being on time in my opinion uh, at least in my experience so far how's the uh, volume levels by the way is everything sounding pretty good for y'all i want it to uh make sure it is i want this to be an enjoyable good good for your ears stream um, are you still doing three prequel books or just two for your series? It's going to be three for the uh, first Lawful Time series. I think you'll move on to the next era, uh, which will be more of a war epic. Um, you sound great. Thank you. Loyal or we riot? Yeah, I agree. Loyal or we riot. I will be furious if we do not get loyal. Um, oh gosh, it's moving so fast. I think loyal should be a complete surprise. I get that, but no. <laughs> I want to see my baby. I want to see my precious loyal baby. Give me the loyal baby, please. Um, okay, but let's go ahead and jump on over to seeing what you all pitched for your, uh, what your ideas for uh, a Wheel of Time video game, uh, which I thought was an interesting little way to kill time. It, how do I shift plot? How do I ma make the screen? There we go. Um, a good idea for until we get there. Um, having a great day? Yes. Uh, did you get your LASIK? I'm still wearing my glasses, so no. 
<laughs> I'm getting two procedures this week, so it's gonna be I'm gonna be in pain this week because <laughs> both of them are going to be. Well, I don't know if LASIK is painful. Everyone keeps telling me it's not, but it's either I get acid dropped in my eyes or them cut open. I can't imagine it won't be painful. Um, okay, let's go ahead and make this a little bit bigger still because we can afford that. Boom. All right. Um, okay, if Elaine is not in the first season, but in the second, how many seasons do they plan for having Wheel of Time? 30? I'll die before they finish. No, so, okay, we do know pretty much for sure Elaine's not going to be in the first season, um, but I don't think that means it's because they're not covering the first full book in the first season. So I, I think it's just because they're restructuring with their characters introduced. All right, Wheel of Time fans, to celebrate the trailer dropping today, pitch me your Wheel of Time video game. Uh, type, campaign, structure, character, choice, or creation. Oh, and the story it tells. I thought this was an interesting idea. Um, so let's go ahead and see what you all had to say. Um, let's see. A Bioware-style RPG, character motivation, branching story paths, etc. And in terms of the campaign, maybe something similar to PS2 Lord of the Rings, a third age where you indirectly follow the events of the books. So this is probably the most common pitch that I get in a nutshell. Um, and I get that this is a very appealing approach, but I don't think it's where the biggest success for uh, a Wheel of Time game would be. Uh, I actually think, so an RPG style like this for Wheel of Time, you'd have to completely either divorce it from the books and just have it be this entirely separate adventure, or you'd have to severely limit the choices you could make. So that, because like, otherwise the story would become way too complicated and it'd become impossible through decision trees to actually have like a well mapped out approach. So I just don't think that's necessarily the way to go. Um, let's see, we're 25 minutes till the trailer drops. We got a, we got a moment. Okay. Uh, okay, so yeah, a lot of RPG pitches. You follow one of the male, not to call you out, but um, I don't think there's a lot of male in, <laughs> in Wheel of Time. There's some uh, along the road where they have to solve problems like dark friend creatures. That's fair. Main, okay. Um, yeah, okay, a lot of this. Skyrim with Wheel of Time. I mean, that's the biggest pitch I get all the time. Just Skyrim Wheel of Time. Um, which, Telltale games would probably be the best format, in my opinion. I love the way they use uh, games to tell stories. I really like that, actually. It's not something I see pitched all the time. And I think that'd be really interesting. Um, interesting. Let's see. Another trailer? Yeah, we're getting another um, trailer dropping really soon. Um, let's see. It's a dating sim where the secret good ending is you hooking up with Bale Doman and living out the end of your story playing River Trade for Ice Peppers. <laughs> oh my god. Um, okay, I want to actually, we might want to, no, I don't think there's any spoilers here. World of Warcraft style MMO. I, I would hate that. No offense. I just don't want, I don't want a multiplayer. Uh, okay, here's, okay, here's my thing. I don't want, I do not want an MMO Wheel of Time game. It would kill me. It would drive me absolutely nuts, and I just don't think I could do it. I'm so sorry, but I, I, I need that to not exist. I need that to not be a thing. I apologize. I love you, but I just can't do that. Um, let's see. Wait, why? Oh, do I not have an alert box on this? apologize um okay i brought in the alert box if i missed any alerts i am so sorry don't worry it's here now um guys daniel has some weird followers the other day one of them invited me to a naked dark friend social in the woods at midnight but only white cloak showed up okay then that's that's a thing that's now been said on stream <laughs> i can't really uh yeah um that's that's all we're getting there Okay, we're gonna mute that. <laughs> we're gonna mute that voice uh, real quick. Uh, let's see, donation, sound volume. Uh, how do I get rid of, I actually don't know how to get rid of the donation sound. We'll, we'll figure that out. We'll figure that out in a minute. Um, <laughs> actually, yeah, let's do that real quick. I actually haven't with you guys, um, I haven't actually gone over, I don't think I have anyway, um, the new, oh wait, no, I want to hit command V, there we go. I haven't gone over like the new, um, 
stuff they dropped on Amazon, which is really interesting. I don't know if anyone's seen this. I'm moving to Arlington. Let's hang out. Any Rex? First of all, no, I don't want to be shot. No offense. I just have to assume everyone's trying to shoot me. Um, but if you're moving to Arlington, there is literally so much to do that it's it's going to be bonkers. Uh, it's one of the most like interesting places you can go, in my opinion, in Virginia, um, in terms of just the amount of stuff you can do. Um, but let's go ahead. So Amazon dropped this insanely interactive, um, like, we're all naked before the light. Okay, this is this is deteriorating fast. Uh, they dropped this amazingly interactive, like, timeline for uh, the Wheel of Time. And I want to go over this real quick. So let's, let's talk about this. Uh, okay, let's get rid of the music. This is very loud in my ears. Boop, boop, bye-bye. And now you still get it and I don't. Why is it why is it all Christmas themed? There we go. Um, so so here we begin your journey. So we have Moraine's quest, which we've already seen, but if anyone hasn't seen that, uh, I will go ahead and uh, bring this to you now. Uh, close. There we go. So let's watch Moraine's quest, shall we? I swear to god if I get copyright strike because this. I am Moraine Sedai. Twenty years ago I learned a secret. Wait, what? A vision of a baby being. Oh my god. It literally has security measures on it so it can't be streamed. Why? It's a publicly available free piece of content. Why would you put something that stops me? Okay, whatever. Um, I'll go over the timeline instead. Uh, they're here for the same reason as I am. For you, the Dark One is waking. His whispers are already in the backs of our minds, but there will be one who can stand against him. The dragon has been born again, and it's one of you. With a, a dramatic Moraine reading. I like that. I like that. That's a good way to go. Um, so that's basically like, this basically, I don't know how else to put it aside from just, it's like a plot synopsis for... Let's just go over it here. I am Moraine Sedai. Twenty years ago, I learned a secret. A vision of a baby being born. A ba okay, I need to just say this. It's going to be weird, but ago, I have to I say this. Give me one second. A vision of These three, just insanely ridiculously attractive trio. <laughs> for, the, for, the, for the fucking two river Freaking, sorry, YouTube. You two rivers, boys. Um, just, of a baby wow. being born. A baby who could change the world. In the last age, the Dark One was trapped by the last dragon at the cost of almost everything. So a lot of shots we've seen 20 before. years ago, the last dragon was reborn. We don't know where or to whom. What I do know is that my mission is to find them. I will say, I have settled on not loving the Great Serpent Ring change. This is the Great Serpent Rings now. They're these kind of bulbous looks. And for marketing and having the different Ajas visible on the rings, I totally understand. But it's just aesthetically, I'm not a huge fan of it. I'm just going to be very honest on that. But we're running out of time. The Dark One is waking. His whispers are already in the backs of our minds. If I do not succeed... I want to give him the biggest kiss. Look at this. He's such a kissy boy. I just want to kiss those little teethies. Okay, sorry. The earth itself will burn. <laughs> and the whole world will turn to darkness. I really hope that CG's touched up a little bit more. Um, why, am I still, why am I wearing glasses now? Because I'm preparing to get LASIK and you can't wear glasses. You can't wear contacts before you get LASIK. There will be one who can stand against him. The dragon has been born again. Oh, those nightmare fuel shots. I love it. Oh my God. Yeah, the new trailer will be dropping in 18 minutes. We're just kind of going over this timeline they dropped for us before then and hanging out. We're just having some hangsies outsies while we're waiting for this to drop. Um, all right. Who is the dragon reborn? Moraine. No. Um, Moraine has come to the two rivers in search of the one who will save or destroy the world. A mysterious and powerful Aes Sedai capable of channeling the one power. Her arrival brings with it concern. That's a, that's a way to put it. Uh, and threat of chaos. She claims to seek the prophesied dragon reborn. But for what purpose? Aes Sedai may never speak that which is not true. But the true one... But the Wow. But the true one... Truth. Ah, dyslexia sucks. I'm sorry. Um, but the truth one tells is not always the truth you may think. Dun, dun, dun. Don't you love, like, 
dramatic writing. Egwene, the innkeeper's daughter. Egwene is wise beyond her years. She is determined, steadfast, and driven by logic. She's promised to marry Rand, but others see her potential. The town wisdom wishes to train her, and the arrival of Aes Sedai, uh, who wants to take her from two rivers, further um, um, uh, complicates her once simple life. She quickly realizing she could be more important than anyone ever imagined. <laughs> Um, Rand. I like that they use a shot with Rand with the bow. Um, that's actually like a look that's kind of like often not done for Rand, but for a good while, he's walking around with a bow, and that's I appreciate that. Um, same thing with Matt, right? I think they both just have bows for a while. A uh, few things are more important to Rand than his family and friends. He is impossibly stubborn, true. Uh, impulsively driven by his love and compassion for others, true, especially Egwene. Eh, yeah. Uh, when Moraine arrives in the Two Rivers, he pays little mind. Perhaps there is power within him, or one of his friends, but his only concern is protecting those he loves at any cost, and he will have to do that sooner than later. So this is, like, so boilerplate for, like, what is... I don't know. I get why they're trying... I'm not going to get into spoilers here. Um, but, like, it's so boilerplate, it's kind of, like, to the point where it's taking it down. Hold up. One second. I'm getting a, I'm getting a thing from Murphy and Appear. Give me one second. No worries, not important, unrelated. Okay, I was afraid she's about to tell me, like, you have a fire in your house in the background. You have to put out the fire, Daniel. How do you not see it? Because, you know, I'm terrified that there's a fire in my house somewhere. That would be scary. Um, let's see. And hide user on this channel. Boom, and that's how you get banned very quickly. All right, cool. Uh, let's continue on from there. Matt. Matt is always ready with a smart remark and loves to make people laugh. And his mischievous smile and witty retorts simply distract from the question constantly burdening him. Is he a good person? Interesting. And, and how would he know? His parents were far from role models. Okay. Yet he fears himself fated to follow their path. But perhaps, if that Aes Sedai is to be trusted, his future may have other things in store. Um, interesting. Don't worry, guys. The trailer's going to drop in 15 minutes. We're just hanging out till the trailer drops. Everyone relax. All right? Relax. Chill. Chill. We're getting ready for the trailer. It's going to be here soon. I love this look for Matt. Oh, and he's got a dagger. Look at the dagger in the hand. Look at the... It's got the misties coming off of it. Um... Perrin, don't let the physique from long days working a forge fool you. Perrin is a gentle giant. Shouldn't this be one sentence? I don't know. Um, anyway, to that, to, to, wow. To those close to him, he's a man of strength and stability who approaches every decision with thoughtful consideration. Despite his kind and gentle nature, his physical strength cannot be denied. That's, that's true. This man could Chewbacca your ass in a heartbeat. Um, <laughs> in, uh, is this a reflection of some deeper power? Perrin fears that one way or the other circumstances reveal the answer. Oh, I love that. Nynaeve. Nynaeve is fierce and assertive, commanding respect as the youngest wisdom the Two Rivers has ever seen. She, she's brash and unpredictable, but her compulsion to heal is what truly drives her. This is the best description so far. I like this one a lot. Oh, I'm just, okay, I just got my headphones tangled around my foot. Um, let's see. She may be slightly older than the other four from Two Rivers, but her innate abilities are not to be discounted. Nynaeve dis despises the Aes Sedai, yet Moraine senses a power within her, one she simply cannot ignore. Ooh, that's a very good description of Nynaeve. This is the best one so far. I've been kind of lukewarm on them, but this one is poignant. This is perfect. Um, oh, that was great. All right, how many minutes till the trailer drops? 13. I am so excited. All right, sorry. And then Lan. Dear God, I love this depiction of Lan. Lan is Moraine's warder, a warrior bonded to an Aes Sedai through the One Power, equal parts bodyguard, confidant, and ally. And that's kind of... Eh, okay. He and Moraine share an unbreakable bond, driven by duty and honor. His stoic exterior reflects the unwavering loyalty that supersedes his own desires. Yeah, that's all good. Um... He would give his life for Moraine and will do what is necessary to find the Dragon Reborn, whatever Moraine's plans may be. Ooh, I like they're adding stuff for people who don't know the story to be like, added tension in 
and suspension. All right. Um, the Westlands await. Okay, I've actually looked at this map. Oh! I haven't seen this yet. This looks so good. Oh, uh, okay, but it's just little blurbs each place. I thought it was going to be a little more intrusive. Gildon is a relatively small kingdom at the foothills of the Mountains of the Mist. War has broken out there. Yes, it has. Uh, Breen Spring. Breen Spring is cobbled together at the edges of a quarry. The people here are as hard as the stones they mine. Okay, so we're going to be heading there. Two rivers nestled between... Why would they use those... Sh I guess this is the... I don't know. This is weird. I would have used a shot at Emmons... Well, no, it's the two rivers. It's not Emmons Fields. This is the right way to go. Um... Nestled between these rivers lies the home of five young women and men destined to shape the world. I see, okay, someone in the chat's being like, but all this stuff is wrong. Um, no. <laughs> they're just trying to keep it spoiler free, so they're being misleading, but none of it's like directly contradicting stuff, I don't feel like. Um, so yeah, that's just my opinion. Um, I don't know, but you can have your own opinions. It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Everyone just chillax. All right, everyone just chillax. All right, more bands coming through. Easy peasy. I had user on this channel and done. All right. Uh, you've lived too long in these mountains. Pretending what happens is the rest of the world won't, can't affect you. Yeah, I love that line. Um, what's going on in the recasting? I don't know. It sucks that uh, Barney Harris had to drop out as Matt. Um, and we have a replacement now, but I'll... I'll worry about that once uh, season two is coming around, because I don't think we're going to have to really worry about it till then. Um, where's the link to this on the site? Just go to the uh, Wheel of Time show on Amazon. It's right there. You scroll down. Third Age. The Wheel of Time turns and ages come and pass, leaving memories that become legend. There are neither beginnings nor endings to the turning the Wheel of Time, but there is a beginning. Discover the beginnings of the legend uh, with the interactive timeline. Let's discover. Zero way B. The breaking of the world. See more? This is actually like, okay, I know this isn't like the highest effort thing ever, but it's, uh, it's, it's pretty interesting. I like this. How woke is this going to be? Way to immediately let me know. I just would never like to hang out with you as a person. Um, the dragon loose there and a group of male Aes Sedai attempted to cage the Dark One forever. If that's your first question, you're just so obnoxious. When they failed, the Dark One tainted the one power, driving all male Aes Sedai mad. In their madness, they broke the worlds. Mountain fell. Lands were reformed. Civilizations collapsed. And the towering dragon mount was formed. This was the end of the Age of Legends and the beginning of the Third Age. Fair enough. Um, what's next? Wait, conflict? Journey meeting. Well, I don't understand. Oh, okay. This is milestone. Got it. Um, let's see. The pattern demands a champion. Danu, 978 NE. I've, if I, what's, what is this? I haven't actually necessarily seen that before. I'm confused. Wait, what? Do each of these have something? No. Okay. Um, see more. A child is born, believed to be loose there, and spun back into the world once again, cha uh, challenging the Dark One. This person, I like that they're keeping it totally mystery, has referred to in prophecy as the Dragon Reborn. They are fated to have great power, and it is said they will either save the world or destroy it. Interesting. Okay, I'm just going to read the chat, but I'm just going to take it off screen. Um, no offense, but y'all are being just some butts. So, boom, chat's gone. And I will read it myself, and attention seekers no longer get attention. All right. Um, and, okay, I used to say that who the dragon was is so obvious that it's not a spoiler to talk about who it is. I no longer say that because now there's a ton of people who don't read fantasy at all getting into the Wheel of Time, and I'm just like, all right, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to let that be. Uh, I'm just going to let that be uh, completely. Let me make sure this is... Have I been copyright striked already? I just want to see what's going on. Uh, am I copyrights? No, I, wait. No, I can't tell. Give me one second. I just want to, I just want to see if I've already, uh, <laughs> had a copyright laid against me. Uh, let me just check that real quick. <laughs> YouTube studio. No, we're still monetized. Thank the Lord. Cool. Thank the Lord Dragon. All right. Uh, and I'll go back to show stuff. Uh, da -dum -da -dum -da -dum. All right. Sweet. How far? Okay. Eight minutes from the trailer dropping. Now I have to ask you all what you want to see in the trailer. Pattern Demands a Champion. We just got through that. Uh, Moraine's Quest. 979NE. 
Uh, the Aes Moraine began her search for the next dragon, an individual born on a foretold date, said to be the chosen one who is able to touch the source of the One Power, powerful enough to save the world from the Dark One, or destroy it once again. Ooh! 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 I love that. That's just a... I don't know. I, I, I'm just so happy. I get there are people who are want to be really critical and want to be... Like, I've just decided for the next few weeks, until the show actually comes out, I'm just going to let myself be hyped. I'm just going to let myself be so happy. And if I'm disappointed, I'm disappointed. If, I'm, if it lives up to what I want it to be, it's going to live up to what I want it to be. And... I'm I'm just gonna be that way. Like that's there's no other real way for me to approach this at this point because there's like an honest to god chance like it's not gonna live up to what I want. But like I'm only gonna have the chance to be this like excited once in my life. You know what I mean? Like this is the only time I'm gonna get this. Um, so I don't know. <laughs> I'm just going to be that guy uh, for a solid minute, and then we're gonna move on from here. What time is the trailer? Six minutes. Let's continue. Oh, that's the, wait. On to the two rivers. All right, see more. Moraine's search for the Dragon Reborn led her to the quaint region of the two rivers, where she had heard rumors of four young people are potential dragons, who potentially match the prophecy of the Dragon Reborn. Bum, 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 bum. Guys, this is on Amazon's website. Literally, if you just go to Amazon, put in Wheel of Time, this comes up. Um, <laughs> all right, so yeah. I, you know what I think would really make this show complete, though? Um, what we really need, and I, I, I mean this as someone who, um, as someone who is very sincere, we just need Ed Sheeran to sing around a campfire to, to fully encapsulate this series. You know, I just don't see how that could tear anyone out of their immersion. I don't see how it could bother anyone really. I, I just feel like it's appropriate uh, for for us to have a, a modern pop star come in and uh, and just and just you know sing around a campfire. <laughs> I uh, I still can't believe that decision was made for uh, for a song of ice and fire. Like it's just such a bafflingly bad decision. And here's the thing: if you would just like if Ed Sheeran was a huge fan and he just wanted to be in the background and get killed, that's fine. It's the fact that he sings. And he sings in, like, a very modern way. It's just, like, wow. And I, like, I'm not an Ed Sheeran hater. I, don't, I know there's a lot of people who are. I think he makes perfectly good, you know, enjoyable music. It's fine. It's just a, like, good Lord. <laughs> who made that goddamn call? And why are they the way that they are? Why did they do that? <laughs> it's just such a bad decision. Oh, that's why, like, what I saw is like, oh, the the showrunners from Game of Thrones are giving, trying to give Rafe uh, uh, Judkins advice. I was like, shut up. It's not even season eight. It's decisions like that along the way that just let me know you need to stop talking. <laughs> just uh, uh, you don't get to speak. Bad. It's very bad. Um, all right, now it's time for us to officially just wait for this trailer to drop, uh, which I'm going to act like i'm not on pins and needles for um where who's fourth oh it's going to there i assume it's anyone born within that date range so the fourth would be Egwene. um so yeah i'll just put that out there and answer that question um let's see they did okay i'm a, all right i've been a huge fan of their marketing stuff so far the puzzle was brilliant i think that interactive website thing super cool i like it um this like emoji conversation thing they're doing, it feels like 2012 internet and I'm not the biggest fan of that. Um, I like that they gave us the emojis. Those are cool. But this like fake conversation thing, I'm not, I'm not the biggest fan of. That's, that's very 2012 internet. It's, it seems outdated. They've been very on point with not feeling outdated and suddenly they feel extremely outdated. So <laughs> I'm just like, ah, ah. okay. Um, I'm glad I do not have the chat on screen because people are putting spoilers in there. So I would just avoid looking at the chat if you uh, want to avoid spoilers. Um, ba -bum. Don't know if this interactive website's available in Canada. Oh, that's butthole. Why wouldn't they have it available in Canada? That sucks. It should absolutely be available globally. Is that true? Let me know if that's true in the chat. That's that's weird. 
Um, I don't think it's outdated. TikTok has that kind of stuff popular again. Oh, all right. Well, that's fair then. I mean, I don't, I'm not super. I do have a TikTok. It's fantasy news. You want to look it up, but it's, uh, I don't do like the super trendy stuff. I just find sounds that I can apply to fantasy situations. And I, I do that. <laughs> um, it doesn't work for me in the U S either. No, it's got to, well, you look up wheel of time, you click on the show and then just scroll down and it should be there. That's, that's how it works for me. I can't. Okay. Guys, two minutes two minutes and we will be ready oh it's probably not available in countries with different languages i'd imagine that's probably that's probably a thing because they probably didn't bother to translate it to everything which you know it's a lot of effort um i was able to see in canada there you go two minutes come on give me the trailer i'm literally going to be sitting here refreshing for the next minute so um <laughs> well hold up let's watch the last trailer real quick why not let's check this out the wheel of time turns and ages come and pass. Love your content. Leaving Make sure you tell folks to log into the account. Oh, you need to log in. Thank you so much for letting us know. You need to log into the account to uh, see the Wheel of Time show. That's cool. The power inside you. All over the world, there are different names for Okay. You. Next trailer drops in one minute. But it's one thing. There's one a teaser power. leading up to the trailer. And women who can touch it. And I'm really excited to see if they tweak the VFX a lot. We protect the world. Hello there, General Goblin. Ooh, I haven't gotten General Goblin before. Thank you. This November! Ah! No matter what happens. Trailer dropped. All right. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Everyone hush. Hold up. Yes! Marines to die. I swear. I'm not going to be pausing it. We're just watching. Marines to die. I swear to speak no word that is not true. To make no weapon with which one person may kill another. And never to use the one power as a weapon. Do you know what I said I means in the old tongue? Servants of all. It is they who serve the world. I didn't choose this path, but I will follow it. Where next? The two rivers. The old blood runs deep in those mountains. Let's hope it's prepared them for what's coming. Give me that the baby. Dark One is waking. But there will be one who can stand against him. And it's one of the five of you. Now five. You fully lost your mind. Your life isn't going to be what you thought. Marine. What are those? His army is coming. <laughs> what can we do? We protect the people we love. No matter the cost. Our enemies are everywhere. Oh my god! They will leave no one standing. We've lost too many people already. I can't lose you. You won't. If we do not stop the Dark One now, the whole world will burn. I can't allow it. Oh my god! Okay. The wheel weaves as the wheel wills. Did we just get confirmed, Mark? <laughs> Do you think we'll ever go back? Home. <laughs> no. Okay, 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 okay. We need to go through frame by frame right now. Okay. Here we go. We have Moraine. It looks like this is her raising to Aes Sedai. So we're getting a flashback oaths. to that because she's taking Marine the oaths. Sedai. That's I awesome. I swear to speak no word that is not true. So that's confirmed things from New Spring being in the first make season. No weapon with which one person Dude, we saw Aiel! Okay, hold up. Sorry, to continuing. And never to use oh the my God. as a weapon. Criticisms. I will start with criticisms here. 
I still, the way channeling looks is just not living up to what I wanted. So I have to start with that criticism. Also the lighting still bugs the hell out of me, but those are really the only biggest criticisms I had here. Let's go. Do you know what Aes Sedai means in the old tongue? I love this shot of the hall. It looks so good. Sorry. Servants of all. And I love that this is not shot like Game of Thrones. This trailer is, trailer is making it so clear this is not shot like Game of Thrones. It is much brighter. It's more vibrant, which is true to Robert Jordan's vision. I think it's a little too bright and too vibrant, but I can at least respect that they are going in a very different direction. It is they who serve the world. Those chest tattoos, the cultural detail. That's like one of the biggest things I've been saying for ages. The cultural detail has to be there. And they got that. Okay. It should say Robert Jordan and Brandon Sanderson. Didn't choose this path, but I will follow it. Where next? The two rivers. The old blood runs deep in those mountains. <laughs> I guess this is after her uh, wisdom thing in the first, you know, opening of the, what we saw in the clip we got. This is her just enjoying the water after she came out of it in that teaser shot. I don't know. Zoe Robbins, I cannot wait to see her naive. It's Let's maybe the performance I'm most excited for after Barney Harris. Prepared them for what's coming. Murder all daddy. The dark one is waking. But there will be one who can stand again. Per okay, I feel like Perrin's shots always look so like he's going through hell. I don't know what they're doing to his character, but it's got vibes. It's Tim. That braid throw! Sorry, just the little details, the braids. Okay. It's one of the five of you. You fully lost your mind. Your life isn't going to be what you thought. Okay, here we go. Wait, go back. What the f life Look at how devastating. I won't spoil what causes this or what this is, but for those who know, that means what we're getting on that one thing is going to be a banger. I just realized we didn't, yep, someone just pointed out we didn't get loyal. Why didn't you give me loyal? All right, moving on. All right. What are those? His army has come. Okay, it's a full army. I was afraid it was gonna be like 10 Trollocs. But no, this is an army coming for them, like it is in the books. Good. This isn't like in Fellowship of the Ring, where, you know, they're like, oh, the ring wraiths are on the way, we need to get more. This is an army coming after you, because that's what makes sense for the evil people to do, to send an army. That's Narg. Narg is here. Love that. Please, he needs to talk. I just want Narg smart. Give me Narg smart. What can we do? Look at that face! Oh. What can we do? That face! Oh my god! Bite me! Okay. There's, it's brutal. It's bleeding. It's clearly multiple different animals for different Trollocs. I'm such a fan. Okay. We got all kinds of different Trolloc look coming in, and that is a love. I just want that. Oh my god, I want that. Yes. We protect the people we love. I like that they're given Rand. It's not something I've thought about until this moment, but I really like that Rand has his bow because that's something you, I don't know. I just, I don't know. No matter the cost. <laughs> what is this? This is, this is the Borderlands. It has to be. Yeah. Borderlands. Okay. This is, this is dark. This is, this has to be. A yellow eye Sedai, this is not in the books as far as I remember, being burned alive. Enemies. This is an eye Sedai being burned alive by white cloaks. Holy God! What? They're everywhere. And then he's being smug about it and he's being like, yeah, I burned her. Holy crap! They will that's rings! Those are Aes Sedai rings! This is a white cloak who's successfully finding and murdering Aes Sedai. I am... What? How, why is that in... I don't... I'm excited, I'm confused, and they have to justify this. It's a very interesting thing to bring in, and I like the idea of it being brought in. But they really need to justify how he's doing this. Because it's, it's going to be... like I, Again, avoiding spoilers, that's not something you can just 
do, right? Leave no one standing. This is the only thing I just straight up hate. Why is Lan screaming on the ground? Um, that is an absolute no-no. What is this? This is Lan shrieking. Lan is the most stoic person in the world, and we do not see strong emotion from him for many books. And he goes through severe trauma in those books. That is a key part of his character. What is this? I don't know what this is. It has to be a flashback. It has to be a flashback to something happening when he's very young. Otherwise, I will be absolutely like, no. This is straight up against the character of Lan in a disgusting way if it's something happening now. Because he is just, this isn't him. This has to be a flashback. It, it has to be. There's no way it's not. But then there's that. Which makes me think maybe it's not a flashback because we get Moraine looking exactly like she does in the other shots tearing up with him unless it's an unconnected but they're both wearing white. I don't, I don't know. This is a very, this is the only thing that I am watching it and going, do you not know the character? Because this is like a, this is a very big deal for me. It's the only thing in the whole trailer, but I'm like, what? No, uh, absolutely not. You've lost too many people, right? More, okay, this is just, okay. I can't lose you. Hey, who were those? I couldn't see. Who was that? What was going on? Many people already. I can't lose you. Okay, white cloaks harassing Egwene and Perrin, and someone's dead. Okay. You won't. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Was that, was that Tom? Please tell me that's Tom putting a knife in his hand. I really want that to be Tom putting a knife in his hand. Please, please have that be Tom putting a knife in his hand. Oh! And it's him sneaking up on somebody. So that looks like to me, because it's gotta be Tom. Tom's the knife in hand guy. That looks like Tom walking up behind someone about to just cut their throat, which, please. Yes. You won't. Trollocs! Egwene and Nynaeve taking on a Trolloc together. I love that. Did she just hit it with a board? Watch this. <laughs> Bam! Hit a trollic with a board like a boss. <laughs> we do not stop the dark one now. Waygate. Nine That was a weird. That was a not finished the dark one shot. Now. Wait, was that a merge roll swinging? If we do not stop the dark. Hold up. Hold up. This needs to be done. Now. That was a merge roll swinging. Uh, that's Nynaeve running in a not finished. I'm assuming that'll look better in the final shot. The whole world will. Army of Trollocs. Yes, different look. That one's Ram. Last one was Boar. This is the level of detail I needed there. Okay, the channel is still does not look but that's a cool fight. I dig the fight. That looks wonky. The channeling just looks... Oh, hold up. The channeling just looks wonky, but go back, go back. Okay, I do like the impact of the channeling, though. Oh, and the warders ducking. Okay, they've definitely put in effort for the choreography of the fights to have warders, like, moving in sync with the Aes Sedai. We saw that already with Lan and Moraine, and I love that. Wait, I think that was Loyal? Wait, did I miss Loyal? I don't see... There's Logan. More Trollocs. Yes, Borderlanders. Borderlanders, yes. Thank you. They're looking like they're getting ready to fight. These should be the hardest people on the planet, and they're looking like it. Yes. Um, I'm not on YouTube, so unfortunately I can't do the frame by frame. Are you? And they're looking... Look at the blood, look at the roughness, look at the costuming. We got Aiel, and they look good. I love how much blood we're seeing in this trailer. This is going to be a bloody massacre of a show, and I cannot wait. Oh, Aiel, holy shit. Oh, look at him. He's, he's like, you dumb asshole. You brought a cape into a fight. I'm going to drag you to the ground and slit your throat. That's the way Aiel fight, and you know it. That is so good. Oh, I just love the idea of someone being in this decorative armor and Aiel just being like, yoink, and just taking them down. That's so good. Was that, who was that? That's the shot of Logan. Yeah, that's Logan. The wheel weaves as the wheel. Okay, this implies tower politics to me. I love that. The wills. Do 
You think we'll ever go back? Home. No. I'm sorry. This is my favorite shot of the whole trailer. I know it's kind of, it's, this is such a good shot. This is such a good shot. I love this shot. This is clearly a flashback to the Aiel war and we are getting the Aiel fighting like Aiel are going to fight, which is they, if you do, if you bring something stupid into combat, they're going to use that advantage against you and capes are stupid. So this person's just getting what they deserve. <laughs> The Aiel are the best culture in fantasy, and the idea of having them dumb justice just makes me happy. It does look like the Kadensor is made slightly more white than it typically would be, which I think makes sense for the battle they're having. I don't, I don't know if the Aiel would change the color for stuff like that, but honestly, it would look weird in the show if the Aiel were showing up to a snow fight in like their typical browns and tans because like their whole thing is stealth. So why would they do that? So it makes complete sense to me that they would show up and be like, no, we're gonna, we're gonna have white, especially if they're gonna be in a white climate for a while. I just, I love this shot of the, like, I just wanna watch this like 30,000 more times. Watch this, just, it's such a, oh, I'm about to ruin, he's running up like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill him. He's like, I'm gonna ruin this guy's day. It's gonna be great. And then he ruins his day. <laughs> they change it for the white lens later on. Yeah, exactly. Um, that is, that's a perfect Aiel encapsulation for me. Um, oh, I'm happy. Yeah, I have criticisms. Uh, this, this trailer, if it's, if it's not a misleading shot, what are those? if it's not a misleading shot, and we are actually getting a scene. Let me just get to it. Let me just get to this, because I, 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 I want to end this with my biggest person. A lot of praise here. I like this a lot. Our enemies are everywhere. I think that's really cool, too. We'll dig that. But this, this is an absolute zero. This is, if this is not a flashback to something horribly traumatic, absolute no. You do not do this to Lance's character now. Uh, I will, I will make a huge stink about this if this is something that actually is just that. Um, but aside from that, really cool trailer. This is the only thing where I'm like, what is this? Why? <laughs> um, other than that though, I'm pretty thrilled with this. If we do not stop this the is awesome. Now, the whole world will burn. I'm... I'm way too critical. Are you kidding me? I just said this is like the most exciting, awesome thing. This is the best drop they've had um, for a long, long time. And I think this is like exactly what I've been looking for, except for the specific. Look, if you're a Wheel of Time fan who expects me to just fillet the series endlessly, I'm sorry. I'm not going to do that. Uh, I'm going to point out things that bother me. But this looks good. I'm very happy. Um, the idea of getting flashbacks to the Aiel War just, oh, yeah. Oh, Oh yeah, that's yes. Um, and the Waygate looks good. Moraine looks good. The army of Trollocs looks good. Loyal is at the Waygate scene. Tinker on the ground is shot of Egwene and Perrin being harassed. The screaming from Lynn looks like bonding. I don't think it looks like bonding. Um, but that's just my thought. Let's see, is Loyal at the Waygate? Okay, stop that. That was very. I need to fix whatever's causing that issue. All right, let me find Loyal. Is Loyal there? Where is the Waygate shot? Someone, where is Waygate? Where's Loyal? <gasps> There's my baby. That's Loyal. Oh my God, we got Loyal. We got, we got a little bit of a Loyal. He looks like he's hunched over. That's fine. Um, he's definitely taller than Perrin, so that works. Yeah, we got a Loyal. We got a Loyal. I like that. Okay. Okay. I dig it. Oh, I'm happy. Oh, I like it. I'm thrilled. All right, I need to go start working on a breakdown video, guys. Thank you so, so, so much uh, for coming along and enjoying the ride with me. Uh, like and subscribe if you have not already, all that fun stuff. And I'm just, I'm pumped. I am, oh, I'm excited. Okay, thank you, guys. I'm going to go make my video breaking this down to be released for you tomorrow.